Hello everyone, and this is Reggie Williams, your Encompass Rep. And uh, I usually take my glasses off for glare and all that, but I can't see. So, uh, as you can tell by the background, <laughs> I pulled over at a gas station. Uh, I am in Alabama today, uh, and was here yesterday too, and kind of did a quick turn and burn back to Atlanta to go to an event, and then came back. But um, it's that road life, so uh, let me see, it's a little light going. And so, uh, yep, I am in Sweet Home, Alabama, on the road. But the show must goes on. Uh, the appliance business is not a nine to five. <laughs> not if you're trying to be successful, right? Um, what's up, E? And uh, let me show you a comment. Bam. And so today I want to talk about the uh, five. Did I get the five? Yeah, I got five on here. Yeah, five five side hustles uh, that are doable for a f appliance repair folks. So if you're a technician, if you're a company owner, and my information is basically based on people I know. The things I see out in the field, um, you know, the stuff people do on the side, and my own personal experience. Um, so, and feel free to weigh in also. Anybody want to weigh in on their side health so you can too? And also, I'm going to put a link up. Uh, oops, wrong the screen share or the invite. I'm going to put a link up too. So, if you want to come on, uh, come into the, come on camera, you can right there in the comments okay so let's get the intro out the way uh if you are new to the channel my name is reggie williams your encompass rep um i uh am one of three block members you've got myself you've got uh ssg appliance academy who comes on at uh 7 30 and you got the legend mike sneed that comes on at eight o'clock. Um, any glass kind of bothers me on you. I'm looking at myself, I'm looking at eh, I'm taking things off. <laughs> um, and so we, uh, I broadcast on three channels. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and uh, um, LinkedIn. So we basically talk appliance talk, right? Uh, SSG's Appliance Academy. Mike Snead does the online his online content. So I'm gonna go over that with you now. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that helps support the channel. That is the cost of entry. Um, and so our total goal for all this is to help, you know, just supply information to the business, uh, get us talking about different things. This give you guys a lot of different perspectives. Um, there are a lot of people, a lot of other folks with channels, and uh, we try to bring a uniqueness. Uh, I, I recommend watching, look, looking at everybody. So let's go to uh, screen share kung fu screen share kung fu and let me do a brief inter intro on oh yeah that's the last week man i apologize man i don't that i have i have no idea hopefully y'all can see me now but i y'all could not see me i don't know why bk from the rockies what's up brother oh yeah shout out to bk from the rockies for uh admin support appreciate you uh yeah, I was just talking. It, it's funny because I could see myself, and then I looked at the, I looked at the broadcast. I, 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 you know, it was blank. I don't know what happened. So y'all can see me now, right? Give me a thumbs up if you can see me. Holly, if you see me. All right. So, uh, Encompass provides virtual training with tim the oracle birdie um what is virtual training so virtual training is uh something you should invest in right we invest in you, you invest in your tools you invest into your truck you invest in the marketing um all right thanks bk you so you should also be investing in your education uh and this is a very very uh 
low barrier of entry, $25 <laughs> education, right? Because if you if you just if you thought if you think you know everything about appliance repair, then you know nothing, right? You don't know enough. Uh, you're gonna learn until you you you, you turn the, your last wrench. Um, and so with our with Encompass virtual training, uh, this training keeps you updated on a lot of the newer stuff. Uh, like if you didn't know, you know, to remove a GE agitator requires a tool. You can't yank them out no more. You don't learn that if you watch uh, our virtual classes. So virtual class is twenty five dollars. Uh, it's for two days. Um, so twenty five dollars does cover both days, and uh, it's really really good stuff. So this is the schedule. And uh, hey, what's up, bro? My brother Jermaine. <laughs> and uh, this schedule will. Uh, I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna share it and put it in the, the chat. Uh, and so this schedule lets you know when we have our next virtual class, and we have, uh, we got some some. I think uh, Tim does is gonna have a hands-on class at our Vegas location. So, boom, there you go. Uh, so that's that's. I just put that in the so description. The link to the virtual class. If you need further help, just let me know. Lean on your rep. O R L. I've been driving all day, man. My brain ain't working. L O Y R. Shout out to King K for that. L O Y R. Lean on your rep. So, anyway, so that's the link to uh, register for virtual classes. Now, as I was saying, if you're new to the show, I'm talking about SSG and Mike Sneed. Who are these people? Uh, if you don't know who they are, you've been living under a rock. Uh, SSG is Georgia's southeast, whatever you want to call it, eastern seaboard, whatever. <laughs> hands-on institutes. So if you want hands-on training, uh, if you are if you have rookies that you don't have time to train, uh, if you want to get into business yourself, if you your experience, you ready to go to the next level with uh, sealed systems? Check out, I don't even want to put this in the description because it's, it's so easy. SSG Appliance Academy.com. Um, and that's Mona Sims, and she comes on at 7 30, uh, her and Tim Burdick. So, uh, so you got virtual training, hands on training, virtual training, hands on training, right? And our virtual training is with Tim Burdick, who is a highly sought after uh, manufacturer training. It, it, that's that's his job. Like it ain't like you know some 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 of these people some folks out here are training you, and they're uh, still doing service calls or uh, which not nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but it's something to be said with someone whose job is to train, <laughs> and not not just training. Uh, he trains for the manufacturers, so we all know uh, they have very, very high bars for that stuff. Uh, and then you got Mike Sneed with Appliance Boot Camp. So y'all check out Appliance Boot Camp. Um, Mike Sneed comes on at 8 o'clock. Uh, Mike Sneed has online content. He also does some hands-on. Um, but what the uh, uniqueness about Mike, man, is Mike will help keep you from going under. Right, he'll because everybody, everybody wants to start a business, right? Everybody wants to start a business. Uh, Mike helped keep you in business with the blueprint. If you know what the blueprint is, man, go holler at Mike at eight o'clock. Uh, he'll be bringing up, uh, he'll be running anchor on the power block. If y'all know what anchor is, man, that's that track and field talk. <laughs> um, so when it's what's next? What's next? What's next? Skills USA. So you know, once you get into this profession, you're like, man, I wish everybody knew more people knew about it. Uh, Skill USA is answered all our prayers. They're spreading the word. It's a major organization. Uh, they took over downtown Atlanta with the uh, Skills USA um, competition. And uh, I mean, yeah, let's go to the website. Go so Skills USA our cat program. Uh, that's the appliance repair. If you know a school in your area that's not part of the program, um, show them the website. Uh, y'all getting them to the, the support. They support the business, right? So let, let's let's keep this profession going by supporting those. Uh, 
to keep the, get the word out. Um, so what do I got next? What's this? What's this? Okay, I, I got my tabs lined up. Okay, here we go. Boom. Now, uh, lean on your L O Y R. Uh, this is uh, my Facebook group. So this is great to get updates on what's going on in the parts business, what's going on in Compass, what's going on with me. Uh, if you want to contact me, it's, it's, it's one of many means, many ways to contact me. Uh, so that is, so y'all go ahead and join the group, man. It's Appliance Repair Community Network, supported by Encompass. Can't remember none of that. Just put supported by Encompass in the search, and the rest will show up. <laughs> so y'all help my group grow, man. I think I'm a little over 300 members right now, and uh, trying to keep growing. So let's talk about the subject at hand. Uh, the subject in hand is uh, we're talking about today five side hustles that are fit for appliance repair technicians uh, or appliance owners, anybody in the appliance business, right? Because you don't got a lot of time. So we need something. We need If you want to do a side hustle, these are some of the side hustles, uh, not in no particular order. So one side hustle for an appliance technician would be teaching teaching lie you ain't thinking that how is teaching a side hustle well number one uh at some point i think we all get here where you just want to get out the truck you know you, you start and it usually starts with cherry picking because you, you start cherry picking your service calls uh, because you just want to do the easy stuff you know somebody call you about a a spider bearing that needs to be replaced you're like no pass <laughs> right um and so that's usually a sign that, you you know, you kind of want to change it up a little bit. You want to do something fresh, but you don't want to abandon your primary source of income. Um, and even if you are a technician working for someone, you definitely don't want to, uh, I mean, you know, I know some of you guys probably work on the side, but you definitely don't want to have any conflict of interest or, or upset the apple cart there, right? And so uh, teaching will be a way to go. Now, where do you teach? Well, let me tell you something. SSG Appliance Academy is always looking for teachers, right? So uh, SSG is always looking for teachers. Uh, community college, maybe, some of the colleges, but uh, SSG is always looking for teachers. So you teach, and especially if you're like, you know, you, you get to the point of retirement age, pass on your knowledge, man. Don't let it just dwindle, dwindle, dwindle away with you or die with you, pass it on to someone else. Cause we all know little tips and tricks. That's the name of my, my uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> we all know little tips and tricks and, you know, pass it on to the, to the just be a good human being and pass things, pass things on. Uh, next, this is up Mike's needs alley, real estate investment, right? So, uh, I know Mike on his channel and some of his content teaches you different side hustles, ice cream shop and stuff. Uh, he, he does commercial real estate, uh, and I think he does real estate in general, but I feel like a lot of it is commercial and, uh, he, he does something with them. You know, it's nice. He's not just that like, you gotta do something with these. You gotta have a plan B, right? He buy like he bought an empty lot and put an ice maker on there. Uh, you know, he got, uh, ice, he bought one and put an ice cream shop in there. Um, I don't know if that was an initial plan, but I know it's good to have like, Hey, if I can't flip this or, or, or rent it out, I can put, I can do something with it to keep it generating revenue. Um, so, uh, Duval, what's going on? Checking in from Northeast Florida. What up? Brother? Jacksonville. Um, so yeah, we, uh, Read stuff <laughs> and so yeah real estate right so real estate the only thing is be careful with real estate right because that's kind of like the flavor of the month right it's been the flavor of the month for decades uh be careful right because like right now prices are very very high um you know the the old thing of well i'm gonna buy and then rent it out and that's gonna pay the mortgage okay well you still gotta pay taxes on it uh you still gotta put a roof on it you still got to be a landlord, which that's a job, and that's that's an expense, right? Because if you, you know, if even if you do it yourself, 
<clears throat> you got to add in the cost of property management, which will be you. But it ain't free because it's you because your time is worth something, too. So whatever you would charge a property manager to run it, regardless of the property manager running it or you're running it, that should be a cost, right? If you're doing a uh, REIT, a REIT residential. Um, and so that, you know, you got taxes and then you got, you know, the market is kind of, kind of weird. And I mean, it ain't, it's not always automatic. You're going to make money off of real estate. So, I mean, with anything, there's risk, uh, flipping appliances. That was my side hustle back in the day, pre encompass, uh, flipping appliances, uh, supplemented. So I got to it got to being like a side hustle to actually to, to having two main hustles, doing OEM work, uh, doing OEM work, uh, OEM work. I'm sorry, so I'm thinking like a parts guy, <laughs> COD work, and doing uh, and flipping. And so when one got slow, I was able to lean on the other. Or if I wanted to go on vacation for two weeks, I can fill my store up with with appliances. And then, uh, you know, still be making money while I'm sitting on the beach, you know, um, flipping, man. And, and it keeps your pencil sharp. Uh, I, I was going to say flipping is probably like the probably should be like almost the number one side hustle for the appliance person uh, because it keeps your pencil sharp. I always feel like I, I, I did it for 10 years, but I feel like I got 30 years experience for the simple fact I touch so many machines because compared to if I only did. Uh, uh, res you know, repairs, uh, my experience would be based on practicing with live ammo, going in with the customer's houses. And I, I feel like you could touch a lot more machines. You can do a lot more trial and error when you've got your own inventory, right? When you're working on machines and, you know, you, you, you're banging out. Terry Electrician, bro, I'm bringing you up in, in a few minutes, man. You stay tuned. Um so, uh, yeah, definitely flipping is, I, I think, is a, should be on top of the list for side hustles for appliance repair folks. Um, what is that right? Plates. Oh, pallets. Okay. <laughs> Can't read them all right. I'm like, what are plates? <laughs> uh, pallets. Uh, so what, what, are you, what are you talking about? So if you go to an auction and you, you get, like, pallets of uh, – uh, you can get pallets of. Hang on a second. I'm back on the channel. Uh, small electronics, blenders, and uh, whatever you know, laundry detergent, all this stuff. Uh, that those things uh can be profitable if you don't overpay. The only problem is there's a lot of people doing that, and they're over. So I tried that before back in the day. I tried doing. Um, buying pallets of return items, return goods, and it was just, people were just you had so many amateur. It's like playing poker with an amateur. Like the worst thing is playing poker with an amateur. They don't they don't know what they're doing. They disrupt the flow of the game and they go all in when it don't make any sense and it just messes you up. And so we you bidding against amateurs that could be a bit frustrating uh, because they're overpaying for these things. And then they're underwater or sitting in a garage, end up giving it away, all this other stuff, right? So Paul Brown, what's going on? And so um, you gotta be careful. So it's kind of like one of those things where you go out to you go out and purchase uh, a pallet. You gotta go out with the intent that you're not gonna buy anything unless it's a good deal, right? Uh, case in point, like I went to a, I went to an auction one time and saw these brand new in the box the box were not open gas dryers right so now in georgia gas dryers are not that popular um unless you go like to downtown atlanta but for the most part it's a lot of newer homes here everything's electric and uh brand new those things are probably like 4.99 you know something like that and somebody bought it bought one it was four of them they bought all four of them for like 450 dollars each it didn't make any sense whatsoever uh, unless they had a plan. I mean, obviously, you know, they could have had a plan, but I, I don't like you're paying. You're, you're so close to retail. And that's without a sales price. I'm sure you can find one on sale for probably that much brand new. And uh, it, ain't making, it ain't up all your profit. And I was like, so I was out. I was like, oh, that's not worth it. Right. Um, so I didn't see much luck with those. That's why I was trying to source inventory for flipping. 
And I didn't see much luck with going to auctions and stuff like that. Um, so also, I'm probably way over five. I am. Well, I'm about four right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, it's gonna be like six or seven side, side gig side hustles for applying guys. Uh, let me do one, show you guys one that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is what I do stock trading. Uh, I did this pre encompass and now I, I still do a little now, but I've slowed down substantially because I don't, you know, the strategies I was using before were a, lot, were a lot more aggressive and they require a lot more time and attention. And so now I don't have that type of time. So I do a lot less aggressive trading. Um, not giving you stock advice, but what I would do. So I found my lane to be. Um, trading the S and P 500, which is, you know, technically the, the 500 best companies in America. And that list is and people fall off the list. They add people to the list. It's got Tesla. It's, lots, it's very tech heavy and uh, it's undefeated. The S and P 500 is undefeated for the last 30 years. Um, right now it's, it is in a decline. And so right now is the best time, man. Like the, the old, old school buy and hold strategy uh, is the way to go. If you don't have, the education or the experience with trading um s p 500 is the best way to go and uh yeah so i did i traded futures so if anybody out there you ever trade options options are high risk you you got to be right um uh, but you can sell options there's different strategies that are that that are, are less risky with options but for me um yeah man uh futures trade with the profitability of options without the risk and a lot of it's predictable like if you're trading oil like a lot of times you know oil going to certain seasons the prices go down or you know news come out that you know they're going to release um more supply or the, you know they're going to hold back supply those news events really affect the price and you get hedged right and so i was a i'm a technical trader where so like you see these uh candlesticks right and this is a, a day chart and so the volume spike right around here, I think, is when it, the market opens. This is pre-market. And it spiked. And so you kind of follow these lines, right? So you look at these lines where these candlesticks are, are, are sitting at. And those are this is all pricing. This is all pricing put into a graph. And so anyway, this uh this is kind of this is a uh, support. This is pre-market support, and it broke that support line, but it spiked back up. It kind of held. Um, and so you kind of, you buy those dips, you go in and out of these trades. So anyway, I'm not, I'm not on the class right now, <laughs> but I do have a channel where I haven't updated in a minute, but I think I'll start updating it. I do have a YouTube channel called Reggie, how I trade stocks. I got some, a lot of old content in there. Don't follow none of this advice because it's not valid no more. <laughs> these charts are not valid on here, but this is some of the stuff, uh, some of the moves I made. Um, so you, you can copy the strategies, I guess, but I'm going to, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, uh, you know, so that's my little side channel. Got 121 subscribers. My main channel got 27,000. Uh, so y'all 27,000 y'all, y'all go over to this, <laughs> this channel. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go. We got, oh, so let's go to the other side hustle. So that's stock trading side hustle. Um, treat it like a savings account, put your money in there. Forget you even, even bought the stock. Just leave it. Um, in the index funds, indexes are the best way to go because you don't have a, a single company risk. Uh, if you do, if you buy the S, S, SPX, uh, I do believe that pays a dividend or the SPY pays a dividend. Um, but all of those are this, this, they, they, it's the same. It's the SP 500. Um, anyway, and don't pay attention to the news. So <laughs> the news will screw you up with ill how you selling your stock, man. Uh, yeah, this theoretical news, just buy it and forget you got it. Uh, Tim Burdick, what up? <laughs> Untamed Kango. So, uh, so that's one side hustle. Another side hustle that's good for appliance repair techs. What could it be? YouTube channel. Yes, you're on a YouTube channel talking about a YouTube about side hustle YouTube channel. YouTube channel. So this channel is Mike Sneeds. And as you can see, y'all go ahead and browse it. Y'all go ahead and subscribe. Y'all go ahead and like. And y'all see I'm subscribed. 
Yeah, hit this notification bell right here. Do that on my channel. Do that on his. Do that on Mona's channel. Mona with uh with the Tim. Mona and Tim. And uh, y'all doing all the, the whole block, man. Y'all subscribe to the block. Y'all hit the uh the notification bell so that way you know what's going on. King K, King K L O Y R. Lean on your rep. Shout out to King K. Um. So yeah, so Mike Sneed, you know he's got uh he's been doing this for a minute. So Mike, so everybody's unique, right? So I'm gonna talk about the uniqueness. So and, hey, don't y'all be looking at this, the channels over here. I'm subscribed at. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a nerd. New rock stars. Yeah, I'm looking at Marvel stuff. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, Mike Snee, he breaks down everything he's doing. He breaks down the uh, you know the, the ice machine he bought. You know, and that's not that's man stuff like that. That's our upper alley. He brought it for way less than the value of it because it was broke, right? Because a key thing is, if a machine is broke, it is worthless to a person that don't know how to fix it. Worthless. So be careful with people trying to, like, uh, you know, boost up the price. Like, oh, you gonna make this much off it? Yeah, yeah. But what's it worth to you? Nothing, because it's junk. Because you can't fix it. So he get he got this ice this ice machine out of steel because it had a, it had a, it was broke and he, he fixed it. Um. And you know that, that's just you know that's that appliance hustle, man. That's that appliance hustle. So. You got uh, some of his stuff, you know, the popcorn he sells, the ice cream shop, man. And so let me tell you, Mike Sneed uh, came to, uh, was a big part, Mike Sneed Appliance Alliance, uh, SSG Appliance Academy, um, our manufacturer partners, Hisense, Tim Burdick. Uh, Mike Sneed, not, not only did he teach at uh, our last Encompass Day, he brought his ice cream with them, gave away free ice cream. I thought he was selling it. I didn't even know it was free until later. I was like, oh, he's actually going to give it free. He had to do that, but all right. Man, Mike gave away free ice cream. Now, mind you, he's in Georgia. this is in Georgia. He lives all the way in North Carolina. So then I like his, his customers going to commute, the, you know. And so Mike Snead, man, brought his ice cream truck. And our accounting department volunteer, was the volunteers at Encompass Day. And, man, every time I see them. Hey, next time you go to North Carolina, bring back some of that ice cream. So, <laughs> Mike, it's a huge demand here to uh, to to for, the, for for you to the owner of a shop in Georgia, bro. So the, the whole all of Encompass is gonna be your number one customer. I tell you right now. So it's already gonna be profitable. <laughs> We're gonna do direct deposits when they check just to your, your shop, man, because it, it was it was off the chain. So especially at Georgia Peach. Um, so yeah, so that's Mike Snee's YouTube channel, man. He, 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 you know, and that's nice to see somebody actually doing it. You know, Mike Snee is like, hey, these are the hustles. This is what I'm doing, and uh, this brother show you the cash register and everything, man. So you know, you know, you know, half stepping with Mike, man. Um, so YouTube channel hustle. Uh oh, who this? Terry the electrician. He also came to Encompass Day uh, in April. <clears throat> and um, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, is there a way to like these comments automatically? Sh like, so I have to click on them. Um, Terry the electrician, man. Uh, a lot of guys come from HVAC, a lot of electric kind of electricians. There's so many people that come over that, that cross over to the bridge of appliance repair. And Terry the electrician is one of them. This is his YouTube channel. As you see, I am subscribed. Um, so, you know, y'all subscribe me. We all need to support each other. <clears throat> and his channel. Let's see. And this brother's tall, man. I saw him <laughs> person. I was like, man, you're tall. Uh, so, yeah. So, look, man. He got everybody on here, too, man. So, y'all check him out. He got a lot of good interviews. Uh, talking money. Talking about talking business. Uh, and he's doing a lot of stuff, man, to help. Uh, just with people getting on YouTube, helping you with, with, with advertising. Um, you know, y'all click on his channel, subscribe, and, uh, you know, a lot of good stuff, man. So, side hustles, man, side hustles. So, I don't know how many subscribers you got. All right, yeah, 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 you got 400 subscribers, so y'all go ahead and subscribe to his channel, man. Uh, Mike Sneed, I think he was at 7,000. Let's see. 
The sneaker dance is for a long time, so it's really time and longevity. Yeah, he almost had eight thousand. And so yeah, y'all y'all show Terry some love on his his YouTube channel. Um, let's see who else we got. Uh oh, Michelle Ward, Miss Ward. Uh, y'all gave her some love, especially for uh diversity and appliance repair. Uh she be dropping gems. You know, talking about her, you know, talking about her, her everyday life, you know, just dropping gems, uh, talking about the, the financial benefits of this business. So y'all give Miss Ward some love. Oh, I mean, I mean, sorry, what she got? She got, she got a thousand. Y'all give her some love. Man, now this channel, I think y'all really should like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, no problem, Terry. Uh, yeah, the Tim Burke say, "Check out the ice cream that I sent to eight to Arizona. It might melt on the way there. <laughs> hey, Mike, you got a story in that that ice the ice box he just got. Uh, read some of the comments here. ABC fam on the YouTube, yeah, BK from the Rockies. So this is my channel. So I'm a flex a little bit. I'm a flex. I'm a flex. Uh, twenty seven thousand subscribers." <laughs> Uh, I think I've been doing my channel for almost 10 years now, and I'm going to go down to some of my old, a lot of block stuff, right, because we're going live. Uh, see, some of my, this is some of my old stuff, so when I was a tech, and now I'm monetized, so this is a side hustle, right, and YouTube will ask you, they'll invite you to, to be monetized, but you got to hit a certain, um, uh subscriber level viewer count so really you got to go into it just trying to do it do it out of your heart right a labor of love and then monetize monetization will come because i was shocked when i got the email i was like oh monetize me all right hey what's going on stan i see you i see you too stan <laughs> um so yeah so if you uh you monetize uh, you get a check every month. So I ain't gonna tell you about you get now, but when I first started, I was getting like $150 a month. And that's when I, like, you know, I was small and I was happy for that. I'm like, Oh, that's cool. And then, uh, as it grew, Oh, there we go. Terry said a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours to get monetized. All right. Um, let's put that up. I'm show, show that. And so, um, and that's the, that's the like the basic thing you can do because you can sell. So you can see, I try to sell products. Um, I went and did. And this is pre encompass y'all. And so I went and did. Uh, where's those things at? I just seen them. So there's these. I use them right now. There's these. Uh, you know how you get dryer sheets. Well, there's uh, laundry sheets for for like laundry. And there's these little sheets. They're called eco sheets. They're this flat envelope, and it washes. I mean, those things last forever. They like they're they're equivalent to like three bottles of detergent, and it's in one like little like sleeve, uh, and they're sheets. And um, so I was selling those because I was getting those. I got a whole. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of them. And uh, so I was trying to put that on my channel. I was trying to sell those. Um, I was. Uh, doing links i was doing links getting money from that and i also did some kind of dryer tune-up kit where i was uh, i was doing my own little parts business pre before this before encompass y'all and um so i, cause I know people always like with, with direct drive dryers like if you're a do-it-yourselfer no matter what goes wrong you might as well replace everything back there because you, you know you, you're gonna go back there again uh and so i will replace you know so i had these dryer tune-up kits i call it they had all the fuses and the uh, heating element, so I was I was very d direct, very uh, so I, I targeted Whirlpool dryers. So I did pretty good with that. I was drop shipping them, like I was buying them from one place and uh, selling them and have them shipped. Uh, which that is actually a very lucrative business. Not doing it that way, but now I know because you know, I've in, I've increased my knowledge. Um, so yeah, man. So I did everything. So I was like I've had tips. I got a little commercial here with my kids. Uh, and me and Sebastian on this one. Did one together. So, you know, them boys, them boys can fix the dryer. 
I put my kids against any of y'all when it comes to fixing the dryer. <laughs> I put them against any of y'all. Williams boys, eight and ten years old. Uh, so yeah, I did. Uh, and this, this is some neat stuff. Like this one, I did um, this screen here, like the dryer screen, showing how even though it's clear, it could uh, still be a restriction in the dryer screen because of the static. And so I ran water in there. That's it. That's where it sat in there like it was in a bowl. And then I cleaned it, and it went straight through. So that was kind of neat. I was like, oh, this would be good content. So anything I felt was good content, I would post, and I felt like people could could use that information. Oh, yeah, click the mistake. Uh, so what's next? Let's go to oops, stop trying. I thought I had another one. Oh, so these are this. So I just I just put in YouTube search appliance repair, and this kind of shows us the progression, right? When I first started, it was only a handful of people that I saw on YouTube that I would get information from, and. Um, and this one guy got 1.4 million views. That's crazy. Because in our segment, man, to get like 100,000 views is very difficult. Even like to get, you know, a million subscribers. You know, we see people doing silly stuff that's non productive. They get all them, them big views. <laughs> but in our in our segment, in our, uh, you know, I don't see that. Oh, also, Appliance Boss, man. Y'all go ahead and go to Appliance Boss, too. This brother right here. He just starting out, man. But man, his chat. You thought this dude was a million subscriber guy, man, because his stuff. He's on point with his thumbnails. I admire you, bro. On point with his thumbnails, his subject matter. He seems very entertaining. Uh, got the pool in the backyard. Like, man, come on, man. <laughs> Show us that. It's hot out here. We you know, we go to public pools, man. You got the pool in the backyard. <laughs> uh, you got DC and Neff got a got a channel. Uh. This brother right here, I've heard about him, Mike Check. Uh, TMM, Brother B. You got so many people, you know. So we got a lot of, a lot of different, and, and everything is unique and different. Everybody's unique and different. So um, did I leave out any side hustles? Uh, hey, Stan, virtual training is not available pre-recorded uh, because of the manufacturers at this point, at, the, at this moment, will not allow us to have uh, pre-recorded yet. Because technically they own the information and knowledge. So uh, not yet. Uh, you just got to hop on a, a virtual training. Um, so, hey, y'all, leave in the comments, man, if I left out any side hustles. What side hustles are y'all doing? Uh, if you want to come on the show, there's a link at the top of the, 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 the chat. Um, and if you are a servicer and you do you service appliances and you do not have an Encompass account, um, you're doing it all wrong. Go into the description. I have a link in there. Uh, and that, that link will help you, will, will link you to a page that will allow you to sign up for a Encompass wholesale account. I will be your rep. And um, also, if you have an account and you're not using it, let me know why. Let me know. If you got a gripe with Encompass or something, something, had, hap something had happened was, let me know. <laughs> if uh, if there was a, a financial issue and, you know, you got cut off or something, let me know. I got your back. I'll hook you up. Um, let me know, man. That's what I'm here for. I'm your rep. Lean on me. Lean on me. Lean on me. So, uh, let's see. comments, no comments. Oh, here we go. Uh, BK from the Rockies, right there. So, um, side hustles are good. Uh, it helps keep your pencil sharp to me, right? Having a, a, just as long as that side hustle doesn't distract from your main income. If your side hustle is taken away from your main income, or even taking away from your family time, don't do it. Uh, the stock trading thing, you can buy. You can honestly bl blindly buy S and P five hundred, leave it there, and it's uh, treat like a four hundred one k. And uh, even if the market drops, don't look at it, don't sell, because uh, what will happen is you'll sell, it'll go up, and you're like, oh, it's going up. Okay, let me buy. And then you buy, you bought higher than you had it, and then it goes down again, and. He <laughs> See, but the, the U.S. stock market, even if it's dipping, it'll dip 
upwards. It's the strongest stock. It's the strongest exchange in the, in the world. And so it, it, it dips going up. It's still it's still heading up. Like even now, uh, we had a huge dip during COVID. And they what we're going through now and the threats of recession, uh, the stock market that dip still hasn't even hit the level that COVID was at. It doesn't it doesn't go that it just doesn't go that that, that far down. Anyway, yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all call me if you got any questions about that stuff. <laughs> so oh, I've got to have my banner up, man. I forgot my banner. Ticket parade. There we go. Boom. There my info. Uh, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Um, y'all been leaning on me. Uh, I'm trying to have some some folks on here um, that leaned on me and, and benefited from leaning on a rep. Um, Redo Appliance, that brother, is now Medea certified because he leaned on his rep. Uh, and he's loving their relationship so far. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And, um, you know, there's been, you know, putting out fires. Sometimes things happen. So I've been putting out fires. If you leaned on me and maybe I didn't get back to you, uh, let me know. Let me know. Uh, I definitely would never do it on purpose. Sometimes, yeah, you kind of get uh, sidetracked or whatever. I, I don't think it's me of those issues out there, but if it is, y'all let me know. Um, and again, uh, why use Encompass? Because Encompass is the most diverse parts supplier in the country. Uh, we, If you're within vicinity of one of our warehouses, you're getting one day. Um, if you're within the triangle of our warehouses, you go you gonna get at least within two days. If you weigh out, three days would be the max. Um, if you're like many, many states away from a warehouse, three days is the max. Uh, but any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we have high-end parts. We got, you know, uh, commonly stocked parts, uh, anything. And also we have probably one of the best uh, financial, financial, <laughs> we got one of the best training uh, collaborations out there the guru tim burdick ssg appliance academy um we got you covered uh we have manufacturers coming in and train there's always something going on to help our, our our business partners so um this is the power block my name is reggie williams y'all go over to mona sims if you look in the description the link tree description you will see uh click on that link and you'll see a link to mona sims SSG, SSG Appliance Academy for her block. And then at 8 o'clock, y'all go over to Mike Sneed's block. Um, so y'all go over to Mona, man, because she's going to be popping in here yelling at me. <laughs> it might be a few minutes early, so maybe I'll, do I go now or uh, I could wait for an alert to see where she's going. Um, we like to have a smooth transition here. So um, also, uh, in a few days, not too long from now, like uh, less than a little bit more than a week, almost a week from now, uh, Nationwide Primetime. Nationwide is a buying group. And so if you ever want to get in on, you know, if you're looking to, to, to buy new appliances, email me and I'll get you hooked up. If you're looking to get in, a, but you got to be ready, right? Um, selling new appliances out of the garage. I mean, it, it could work, but hey, that's probably not, you know, so uh, you got to be ready. So if you're ready. And you're looking to go to the next level and you want to add uh, new appliances to your arsenal uh, nationwide is the way to go y'all contact me i got the hookup lean on your rep and um but they have prime time which is their their trade show their event so i definitely will probably be broadcasting from there if not y'all stay tuned to my facebook page linkedin uh instagram um and i, I post on on those platforms um so Tell my friends about it. Tell me about the inventory feature. He said, I like the old going to buy more parts. I oh, appreciate that, man. Paul Brown, you the man. Um, so, yeah, y'all. Uh, okay, so I think we're good now. Yeah, y'all got Ramona. Um, but, yeah, Nationwide Primetime is going to be that's gonna be a really good event. And then after that, um, there's another event in September. So, um Y'all stay tuned, man. I'll, I'll keep y'all informed. Definitely, definitely subscribe to my YouTube, my Facebook page, my Facebook group. And um, this is the block, man. This is my block. Yeah, I head over to Mona's block. And uh, and also, don't forget, man. If 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 you want to hear something, you should always, always, always remember. L O Y R. Lean on your rep. I'll see y'all. Go fix something.